If a true heading of 135 degrees results in a ground track of 130 degrees, and a true airspeed of 135 knots results in a ground speed of 140 knots, the wind would be from which one of these options? I can't believe you guys love this thing. I'm running out of jokes to put in these E6B videos, but I'm trying really hard. So with this one, we know we're tracking 130 degrees over the ground, but the heading is slightly off to the right of the ground track. That means a crosswind component from the right. We also know that the ground speed is greater than the true airspeed, which means that the wind is coming from behind. Okay, so the first step is to slide the grommet to the ground speed. The next step is to spin the wheel so that the track is at the top. You know that you've made a 5 degree to the right heading correction for the wind. You also know that the true airspeed is 135 knots. So you're going to place the dot 5 degrees to the right on the true airspeed of 135. With that done now, spin the wheel so that the wind mark is directly above the grommet on the center line of the sliding wind card. Now you can read the wind direction from the true index at the top. If you slide the scale so that the grommet's now sitting on the 100 mark, you can take the difference between where the wind dot is and where the grommet is, minus 100, and that will give you the wind speed. So in this case, it's around 13 knots, and the true index is pointing to 244. And given that one of the options is 246 at 13 knots, I think we can forgive ourselves for 2 degrees. If you enjoyed learning this completely useless skill, click here for another video.